If you want to create an online store just like this to sell your digital products and PDFs, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Tisha and I'm here to teach you how to create and sell digital products. Selling PDFs is one of the easiest ways that you can get started selling digital products online and start earning extra income. These PDFs can be an ebook, a journal, or even a printable download just to name a few. So if you want to create an online store to sell your PDFs, let me introduce you to Sellfy. Sellfy is an easy to use e-commerce platform where you can sell print on demand products and digital products. But you guys know over here, we really focus on and digital products. You can easily get your store set up in a matter of minutes. Sellfy does offer a 14 day free trial, no credit card needed where you can get started for free and start setting up your online store. And once you are ready, you can upgrade to one of the paid plans. Now I have teamed up with Sellfy to bring you 50% off their yearly starter plan. All you have to do is use the discount code BOSS when you're checking out. And I will leave all of those details down in the description box. Now let me show you how easy it is to get your Sellfy store set up and start selling your PDFs. Once you have signed up for Sellfy, free trial you're going to come to your cell files dashboard it has this little step-by-step -step checklist to help you get started the first step is to verify your email i've already done that so now let me show you how you can add your pdfs in your digital products so you want to click on add your product then select add product again and then you want to choose a digital product and from here we're going to upload our product add some product details and add some images so first let's select our file that we want to upload one question that i always get is like how do i sell pdf bundles or sell digital product bundles you can do that with Sellfy. you can sell up or you can upload up to 50 files with a combined size of 10 gigabytes or fewer so let's go ahead and add that after you've uploaded your pdf you just want to um, add the name of your digital product that you're uploading and then you can add a product description the next section asks for product category. This is optional. You don't need to add this product category. Let's just say if you have a variety of digital products and PDFs that you're selling on your site, let's say you have journals, planners, and eBooks, you can have different categories for journals, planners, and eBooks. So that way they can all be categorized under one category. And this can help your customers locate those particular digital products or PDFs that they may be searching for. The next option is the product preview. This is where you will add your image. It has a recommended image size, which is 1240 pixels by 930 pixels. To add your image, you just click on your image and select the image that you want to add. And now you have an image. If you want to add multiple images, you can do that. But for the tutorial, I'm just going to only add one image. You can choose your price settings. You do also have the option to do a pay what you want. So basically, if you turn this on, you give your customers the option to pay what they feel like they want to pay you for the digital product that they're purchasing. So these next couple of options are only really for physical products. So we're going to skip those. And once you're done, you just want to go over here to the right side and make sure that the visible on your store is turned on and select save product and now that you have added your product you can just copy this link and you can share this anywhere that you want or you can view it in your store and this is how it currently looks so let's go back to the home page next is to customize our store now before we get into customizing the store I want to also let you know that you can connect your payment gateway. Selfy does use PayPal or Stripe. So I get this question a lot is how do I get paid? This is how you get paid. You get paid by connecting either your PayPal or Stripe account. You can select both or either or it's up to you. Now let's build our digital product store. We're going to select customize store and then we're going to hit customize store again. So now we're inside of the store customizer. This is basically how it looks. The left hand panel has everything you need to customize your store. So let's start with the general settings. Here's where you can upload your logo or even change the name of your store if you wanted to. And you also have the option to 
change the font style they have a load of fonts that you can choose from to change the text color you just click on the box and you can paste your hex code here just hit enter if you have a logo that you want to upload you can do that instead the recommended logo size is 32 pixels by 32 pixels once you're done you just hit that little x button then we're going to press the back arrow to go back to our panel next let's click on store style Selfie actually offers themes that you can choose from to actually help you design your store and once you choose the design that you like you just click on apply theme after you choose your store theme you can change some additional information. You can change the background color by clicking background. If you want your corners to be rounded or keep that sharp square edge, you can change that here. Here's where you can change your button color. And you can also change the, the text style of your buttons. Once you have changed your store style, you just hit the back arrow to go back to that main panel. The next area are the built-in pages. You can click each one of these and customize them to your liking. So let's start with the home page. Right now we just have the navigation, one product, and a subscription area, and also the footer. You can click on add module. Modules is basically sections that you can add to your digital store. So I'm gonna click this. And here are the different sections that you can add. You can add a hero block, which is basically a image heading. You can add a text panel, a newsletter form, uh, another product, product grid, a contact form, and an embed code. And embed code is for those who are a little bit more uh, tech savvy and want to add some HTML code to their digital product store. So I'm going to select hero block because I want to have a main image and once it adds it i want to move it so i'm going to click and drag it all the way to the top and you see that was super easy we just dragged it all the way to the top the drag and drop feature makes it really easy to build your store okay so from here i'm going to change my image background by selecting background clicking on the image to change it and then i'm going to change this donut image because we are going with a donut theme for this digital product store and you can also change the background color to match whatever color that you want it to match. Since I'm going with the pink theme, I'm changing this from the tan color to the pink color. Okay, and then hit exit. You can align your content however you want. I'm going to keep it right aligned. You can change your content size. You have small, medium, large. And you can see they make it super easy. You're just clicking on how you want your information to show okay this container background color though that's this white bar if i wanted to change that i would change that but i'm gonna leave it white then i'm gonna scroll down and i'm going to um, change some of my text and my text color and if you scroll a little further you can also add a subtitle once you add your subtitle you can also change the text color of that subtitle and then you just scroll back to the top, select the back arrow. Now we're back to our panel. Now let's edit our navigation area. So we're gonna click on navigation. We can choose the size. If we wanna change the background color, we can do that, but I'm going to actually leave it white. You can change your logo alignment. Right now it's set to right align. If I wanted to center it, I can change it by just clicking the center align. And here are your options for your products. If you want to edit that information, use it simply. Click on that menu item that you want to edit. If you want to add an additional link, you can do that by clicking add link and then scroll all the way down to change the text color. If you use the similar text throughout, it's actually going to save your hex code so you don't have to keep pasting it. You can just click on that color. And now we're going to go back to our panels that we had here. When you want to edit a section, you can actually just click on this little icon here. This will open it for you to edit. Or you can simply just click on that block that you want to edit and it's going to pull up the edit settings. So let's go back to products. So here again, I just want to change my colors to match the theme. Okay, now once I have that added, I'm going to go down to my next section here, click on it. For the background, I actually want to change it to an image. So I'm going to click on background and then I'm going to upload an image. 
I'm going to use the same image that I use for the hero section. This little option here says image position. So if you have a certain image and you want it to lay a certain way on the website, you can change the positioning just by clicking on the different section here. And then once you've done, you hit the X. And let's change this text color to, oh no, that's too light. Let's change it to, okay. I didn't want it to be black, so let's change it to that um, dark purple color. You can change the title here if you want, and you can also add a description. And then the last section that I want to edit would be the footer. So I just clicked on the footer section, and I'm going to actually change this background to pink. And then we're going to change the text colors. Okay, so now we have that set up. We can kind of see how this looks. We can go to the top and switch to the different devices to see how it looks. So this is a tablet view. This is a mobile view. And literally guys, I was just dragging and dropping and clicking and so far makes it super easy. Now, if you ever want to just save your draft, you do have the option to save the draft. After you've customized your homepage, you can also customize other built-in pages. So all you have to do is just click on the page that you want to edit. And again, you just click on the edit icon and you can edit those different sections of that particular page. So that right now this is the product page. This is a demo product page. So it's not going to show you your actual products. It's going to always show like a demo of a product, but you can edit all of this information. If we go back, go back. We can also edit the checkout page. Now, just keep in mind, depending on the type of product that you add, all of this information may not appear. So some of this information is only relevant to a physical product, okay? For digital products, you may only see this top information and the order summary, okay? But you can edit this information by, again, clicking on the edit icon and going and changing out all of these colors if that's something that you want to do. Okay, now if you want to see the changes that you made, you actually have to click on publish. And then once you publish, you want to click view store. Now this black bar, it tells you your customers won't see this. So this is how it looks. I'm going to add a couple of more digital products just so you guys can see how multiple digital products can look in this store. So to exit the store customizer, you just hit this back arrow here and this takes us back to our dashboard. To add more digital products to your store, you go over to the left panel, click on add new product, select digital product, and it's the same steps that we did previously. Now that I've added the additional products, I wanna show you how the digital store can look. So you click on view my store with this little cute store icon. Remember this black bar, the customers won't see that bar. The hero section that we added, this is our navigation section. This is These are the PDF digital products that I uploaded the newsletter section and the footer section, okay? And if you wanna see how the product page looks, you just click on that product and this is how it will look, okay? Now that we've customized our store, I wanna show you a couple of features that Sellfire offers that I think you guys will love. So the first one that I wanna show you is the discount area. So you can create your coupon codes to run any type of sale. And you also have the option to upsell. Next is the email marketing. They have built-in email marketing, which means you can send emails directly from the Sellfire platform. You do get monthly credit, so it depends on the plan that you choose. And what this means is this is how many emails that you can send per month. A great feature that I really like is the cart abandon feature. This is actually only available on the business plan, but if you are someone who is looking to grow and scale your digital product business, this feature can really help you grow your can help really help you increase your revenue. I don't know if you guys have ever been on an online store and you put something in your cart and you, for whatever reason you decided not to purchase it and then a few minutes later you got an email about that same item that you were looking at. That's what this feature does. You can do that with Selfie and I don't see a lot of platforms offering this feature. The last feature that I really want to show you guys is, are their analytics. And I think their analytics are very detailed, which I think is great because understanding your analytics is what helps you grow your digital product store. 
You can see your visits, purchase, conversion rates. And if you scroll down, you can see your top selling digital products. And you can also see your traffic sources. So if you see that one platform, let's say if you are on TikTok and Instagram, if TikTok is bringing you the most customers, maybe that's where you want to put all of your marketing efforts. So I think this is very helpful for anyone who is looking to sell digital products, create a customized store, and grow their digital product business. Okay, friends, so that is how you can create your very own digital product store using Selfie. Don't forget to check the description to use that discount code BOSS to get 50% off your starter plan. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.